Abraham Deegan. What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of I Am Negan, a TWD Universe podcast. My name is Adam Vale. I'm an editor over at thecoalition.com. And tonight, I'm joined by Editor-in-Chief Richard Bailey Jr. What's up, Rich? What's up, Adam? What's up, listeners and viewers? Yes, yes. Oh, so this is for Fear the Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 6, Reclamation. Oh boy! All right. Uh, before we begin, cause I, I got some. I got words. I got words. All right. Uh, just quick shout out to everyone that like you just mentioned, the listeners and the viewers. Thanks again for the support. Not just for this show, for the podcast, but also for just Fear the Walking Dead. It's been great so far, and I'm just saying so far because this one, not so much. But that, that's in my own personal opinion. We'll get into it. But yeah, just thanks again. Whether on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or at the coalition proper just thanks for just following and just jumping in on it so it's been great uh quick note just a disclaimer this is a spoiler cast of this we're going into a deep discussion on it but of course we're going to be spoiling it and if so if you have not watched the episode you can go to amc plus now and watch it or just wait till tomorrow and it'll air on amc and then just come back afterwards and see if your thoughts align with ours because uh three two one Okay, this was not my favorite episode. This was a weak <laughs> episode. Man, Rich. I t- okay, so we saw right at the end of this, we find out from one of the producers of the show that this was Al's send-off, at least for the season. She's not. I, he didn't say she was gone from the show, but he said this is the last time we're going to see her for, for the remainder, right? Yeah, he did say uh, this is the send-off for this season, uh, but I would argue that this should be the last time we see the character, period. Because it, in that same conversation, he said, I can't think of a better ending for a character than this. So why the hell would you bring her back if this is, after the way it ended, that should be it. We shouldn't see her anymore. Yeah, yeah, he said it. He's like, oh, yeah, this is like the best <laughs> ending you're going to possibly get in the Walking Dead mm-hmm. universe. Exactly. This is a, it's a happy ending. It, it literally <laughs> is a happy ending. So, I mean, we'll just get right off into the beginning of this. And it just starts off that she leaves. Again, they do a lot. Past few episodes, or maybe it's been the whole season like that, but definitely past few episodes, a lot of off-camera situations, key moments happening. And I was not sure what we were watching when we saw her, where Al is just out there with the truck and doing what she's doing. I'm like, this makes no... Wait, you were just back at the, the, the mansion, the Airbnb, mm-hmm. with the rest of the crew. You didn't mention anything about running off doing your own thing, you know. Well, that it, well, it just that that pretty much it goes to what you're saying about they. There's stuff that happens off camera that they don't really elaborate on. You just hear about it, like because the last time, you know, we heard about her, it was in the same episode where Morgan met up with Sarah, and he mentioned to Sarah about yeah, the group can come stay at the at the at the uh, submarine with Morgan and Grace. We never saw them actually go to the submarine. So when this episode starts, it's like, obviously, the story is she didn't go back with the group because she's still searching for something. And, yeah, and that's, she found her truck. That was the yeah. thing. She found the truck and she was like, oh, great. And she was looking for some other stuff. And then she went wandering out. And then Morgan shows up. He also finds the truck. Again, how are you doing this? No <laughs> GPS, no cell phone tracking, where's my phone type of thing. Oh, we're all on the buddy system. We can find. How are you pulling this off? How small of an area? Because in that area where she was at, where she found the truck, it's contaminated. She's wearing yeah. a mask. You got the, the, the haze in the air. And uh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it, it just little things like that. But. Uh, there was a lot of redundant scenes in this, and that's why I did not like this episode, because they just mm-hmm. just kept going, circling back to the same old. Because here it is, eventually he finds her. She she comes back to the car because uh, the CRM show up, and it's two members. Or we're going to call them the CRM. They have the logo. That's the other thing. They haven't mentioned them by name at mm-hmm. this point, and but we know we know them from World Beyond, and we know the logo, and this is part of the group, and. 
if we want to link in anything with World Beyond, it's with the CRM and this uh, group that actually sort of like the hit squad. They go in and they clean up. And that's sort of what was going on this season in World Beyond. The big plot story was, was it uh, Idaho? Was it Idaho or Omaha? Is it Omaha? I think it's Omaha. Omaha, that's Omaha. it. Right. Yep. And uh, with the cleansing that they were like, oh, it's too contaminated. And so they go and they kill everybody off. And they did that at the campus also. They send in this group and that's these people. Right? This this elite force, these guys, they show up and that's their job. So what's going on is that she, Al is searching for Isabel which is uh, the love interest and the woman that had the pilot, the, the pilot of uh, the CRM. And she took off. And again, remember, if you remember the, from the, the June episode, not the June, but when, um, sorry, Sarah, when Sarah had back at the Airbnb, and she was like, oh, where's the pilot whole thing? And then Daniel was like, oh, she doesn't want to say it. She's not saying anything. And uh, now we're getting some more insight on that is that she just, after she did that, she realized, that Isabel, that she was no longer going to be able to return to the CRM because she broke protocol. Yep. I don't know how they would complain or even know that this was happening because they should be more concerned about the nukes going off. But whatever, <laughs> they're concerned about what Isabel is doing. She goes out there, she found these people, but then she said she couldn't stay, it wouldn't be safe, and she left. And one of the things that she told Al was, hey, you can come with me. And Al chose not to go. She mm -hmm. chose not to go. She was like, I'm going to stay here, ride this whole thing out. So now this whole episode is pretty much her backtracking, sort of backing out of that idea. Because, if, well, I thought it was. And maybe you can jump in on this. Because when the CRM starts looking around, they find the tank. They don't see her, uh, or the, the truck, I should say, her vehicle. And then they, they, they leave. Um, Morgan is still in there hiding. So then when Al shows up, they have a little altercation because he couldn't recognize her. They're wearing their gas masks and he sees her. He's like, what are you doing out here? And I'm like, no, no, I can't go back. No, no, we, everybody else showed up at the at the submarine. And what are you looking for? What, is it to do this, to make more tapes? And she's like, it's who I am and this whole thing. So then they, they confuse me. <laughs> they confuse me because I'm like, wait a minute. Because at the same time, as you know, they're doing these weird cuts where you're seeing from the perspective of the camera, like she's being recorded. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's from Isabel recording Al when they were talking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, wait, 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 are you not with the group because you decide you want to go chase, chase the, the woman that you love? Or are you just really out there to find the next new story? And it seems like she's in her own head. She doesn't know what she wants. Because she tells him, oh, God, this is who I am. I don't know. I just can't do this. I, I have to be out there. I, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I have to keep doing it. <laughs> Why do people find the need to go exploring just like uh, um, Isaiah? The, that dude, you know what I mean? Uh, Jebediah, what the hell? What, what was uh, jo jo Josiah. Jo Josiah. See, I mixed them up. Josiah, same thing. He's like, oh, no, I got to go find myself. Really? During a, a nuclear blast, this is the time you decide to fly solo? Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, right. It makes perfect sense, especially in TV so, land. This is what they do. So I, I yeah, it, it does. Yeah, it's it doesn't make sense. Uh, I think the reason this episode is weak is because as a viewer, you already knew how she felt about Isabel, and you already knew that if she had an opportunity to be with her, she would be with her. But yet, the whole episode, she spends all this time waffling back and forth thinking about whether or not she wants to go with Morgan or go with Isabel when we already knew if you have if you have an opportunity to go with the person that you love or have feelings for then just go to them there's no need to spend Especially a whole episode during the current global situation yes yes you know you don't have many options let's just face the facts uh, if you found someone that you enjoy and want to be with you know what hold on to them tight just mm -hmm. the, don't even say, you know what, I, I don't know. I think, I think I might find some other options out there. Wait, where are we going? Oh, we're going to the submarine, and uh, I, I know all of you already. You know what, maybe I, I think I need to go back out there. <laughs> That's what I took <laughs> off of my head. She said, wait a minute, I thought you had a community. Oh, no, it's just the same little group and a submarine. That's already, uh, no, no, no thanks. I'm out. 
So yeah, so there goes that. So grabs uh, Morgan and they go to head out because they're like, these people are going to come and kill us. We got to go. And he's still kind of confused by all this because he's like, isn't this where the girl is about? Wasn't she part of this group? Because at this point now they're running into an area where there's a bunch of cars. Sort of looks like a car lot. They're getting shot at. These guys who are specialists are horrible shots because mm-hmm. they can't, not even getting close with them with the bullet shots where you see the dings. But uh, during this time, she's just spilling the beans about the whole thing. And he's still confused. And he's like, well, we can't leave just yet. Got Grace out there. She's also looking for you. And he gets her on a walkie-talkie. And she's to the rescue. Again, I don't. he doesn't give a location. But she knows where they are. And she shows up. And they're not shooting at the car. These are little things that bother me with these shows. And Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for perfection here, people. I'm not. I'm not trying to nitpick (laughs) or anything. I'm just saying common sense. Common sense. If you were writing this and you're putting this down on paper, I'm like, okay. Scene. We got Morgan and Al taking cover. Car lock. Boom, 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 boom. Got it. All right. We got the the two super squad guys shooting at them. All right. There. Let's say to the left. All right, to the right, we're going to have Grace come into the car with the car. Do the whole thing. She's going to open up the door and say, jump in. At least one of the gunners, you would think, would then start shooting at the car. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen. And then they get into a whole discussion again. Al is like, "Go ahead, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll draw them away." And this whole thing, he's like, "I'm not leaving you." And it was like, "Morgan, you." This is always his case. He's trying to always put everybody back together. This was the same story from last season. Remember when he found that little cave area with uh, with, with, with Rachel and Isaac with the baby and all that? Remember that little canyon area? It was the same thing. He was like, now I got to go get my people and bring them all here. And so he's trying to do it again, but bring them all to a submarine. I was like, at this point, just let her go. I, I would just, I was like, I'm done. Just go, I would just jump in the car, just take off. But no, and he doesn't want to give up. He's not leaving her, and then she jumps in the car, and then off they go. But for what? Because then we get another scene, another, like I said, a lot of redundancies, where now they're in another supposed safe area, and then she's walking away. She's like, yeah, I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm telling you, I can't do this. whole. They have a whole speech, and then she leaves. Mm-hmm. Why? And then this is the thing that I didn't get. Maybe you'll you'll fill me in on this if this makes sense. She looks like she had this plan already with the cabin and setting things up of a booby trap. And there is a cannon, a Civil yep. War cannon there. Was there something? Was this a museum? Uh, I'm not sure if it's a museum. Uh, what I know is that obviously the guns are on, on her car. The truck did no longer yeah, work. Yeah, they no longer work. They, and that's the thing. So, I, I knew it because they weren't going to have any ammo because that was the other thing. Because she says, all right, listen, we're going to work on stuff. You go, remember, to the helicopter and you go grab their uh, their fuel and their ammo, right? And I'm going to go in and do some other stuff. But she, once they get over there, they realize there's no guns. And she knew. She was like, yeah, they never carry any guns on them, on there. They always, it's on person. It's not a gunnership. It's a scout, uh, one of those scout helicopters, and there's just a few. But her plan then was to, what, lure them over there and then to, to have this cannon, this yep. Civil War cannon. Like, how do you know that's going to work? You see, We see well, her packing a cannonball and doing the whole thing. I was like, oh, boy. I think they were thinking about how cool would it look when people are getting shot with this cannon. When they used the walker, we saw the walker that got blown to smithereens yeah. as the, the test the test dummy mm-hmm. for that particular shot. That's, that's all they were thinking about, I think. Um, not any logic at all. <laughs> just, right. uh, yeah, it's just here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she calls in and she tries to make a deal with these guys. She, she knows their frequency. And that's the other thing. If you know their, their frequency, then you should be able to know what they're doing. Because it sounds like they're strategizing and they're calling in and out of the to the main base. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, they go through that process, and then, like, and then the guys are like, "Oh no, we're not making any deals with you. Why? Because we caught your other two buddies, and we see Morgan and Grace tied up on the ground." And- now, now, I, I, okay, so I, I, I do want to make a quick comment about that. Now, I what I don't understand now, obviously, the other group, the, the other ones, you know, Sarah and everybody, they're at the submarine. But what I don't understand is. I thought that somebody was taking care of the baby. 
And it, because we, when we saw the episode with Morgan and Grace, they were taking turns yeah. going out and, and, and leaving the baby. So I guess they decided, well, the group can take care of the baby. We both need to be out here for some reason right now. Instead of it just being Morgan or just being Grace, they both were out there. And I thought that was a little... I didn't really understand yeah, that. They spent some quality time. They've been tied up with the baby alone in the sub. They don't get that private time. And they want to take some little road trips. They want to be a tag team. Yeah. That, well, that, 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 that's the only explanation that it, it. it has to be. Who knows? Right? Exactly. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't make much, but whatever. I think it would have been cool if Daniel was part of that group. you know. But whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm assuming everyone's taking baby. And then that's when we get that the, the key line here. Because there's some key lines, and this is a key one. When she says, hey, we have a daughter. This is Grace telling the the, the head squad mm-hmm. guys. Mm-hmm. And uh, so you see Morgan look at her like, what? He's like, oh, wow. And then later on, he says, hey, did you mean that? About the daughter? He's like, yeah, yeah. We're, we're taking care of you. Where? Yep, I, yep, I mean it. Yep, she's our daughter. It's like, okay. Whatever. But anyway, they're pointing the guns and they're like, no, give us the coordinates. Where is she? Where is she? The whole thing. And I'm like, all right, I know where she is, but how do I know you're not going to fulfill your agreement and let them go? And they do the whole countdown and they're shooting off bullets around uh, Morgan and Grace's head. Uh, but then, uh, all right, holes, man, plot holes. Things that just don't flow well. He, when the, the butt of the gun gets close to Morgan, he grabs it and is able to pull the guy down and do the whole tussle and get the gun. And now is pointing it at the other soldier, CRM guy, who's pointing his weapon at Grace. Mm-hmm. How? If you're, you know what I mean? Like, if they're fighting, and they're not even a fight, because later on a fight breaks up. But when this happens, that doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It wasn't that fast. He didn't just like trip him up and pick up the gun and poof, got you. And if they're the CRM's intent was to kill them anyway, yeah, he could have just shot both of them. He could have, but but you know, I guess they figure these characters are very important, and oh, we I need get them. It. I to... get that. I get that. And yeah. Man, at no point though did I think either of them were going to die. No, no, n- n- never that. And and also, I would I would say if I was in their position and somebody held me at gunpoint. Once I got a, a, a whole, a, a, once I actually got access to the weapon, I would. There would. There's no, no. Stop everything. They would immediately get shot. So I didn't understand why they would just say, hey, "Hold on, you're going to put your gun down because now I have my gun on you." No, I would have just shot him. But uh, I guess uh, didn't want to take any risk because nope. you didn't want Grace to get killed or anybody else. So yeah, he he says, "All right, Grace, get out of here," and she takes off running. Yep. And, uh, yeah, like you said, the guy goes to put his gun down, but then he tackles and they start fighting. And, man, the dude unleashes some ground and pound on Morgan. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> Morgan is going down for the count. I was like, he, he could take a shot because this guy's just in mount position and he's just raining on him. You know, but Grace comes to, to save the day. She got back into one of the vehicles there and she races over and. Again, I don't understand how, the, how horrible of a shot these guys are, but they are unable to shoot Grace or Morgan, who's, and he gets in the car, and they, they escape. They get away. Mm-hmm. That, uh, ugh, whatever. I mean, that. <clears throat> Again, people, I'm not, it's not that I, I'm not hating on I just don't like this episode. I don't like, there's a lot of little inconsistencies with just the, the story, and things missing. It, and Yeah, I mean, it feels as though, they're trying to stall instead of getting to oh, the yeah. point. Oh, yeah, this is definitely uh, a filler uh, episode. If someone's like, oh, yeah. th- th- every series has filler episodes, this is a filler episode. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's stalling because they're trying to, obviously, we have a mid-season finale that's coming up in the next two episodes. So I guess to stretch things out, they have all these other stories just trying to get to that point. Um, yeah. But yeah. It's unnecessary. Stalling. Unnecessary. They meet up with uh, Al again. And again, we have Morgan trying to do the heart to heart. He says, well, before we part ways officially again, let's <laughs> do uh, an in-person interview. This time, can I interview you? And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, oh but wait. One, one quick thing. Uh, eventually, they did kill those uh, guards. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're getting it. Was that, was that before? Yeah, that, oh, that was I, before, I before I, the interview. Because there was another yeah. part where he had said it. But yeah, so they meet up and 
eventually they get to the cabin because the they knew that the soldiers were going to head to that cabin. And mm-hmm. while they were in the car racing over there, we see the helicopter. And then Grace was like, oh, they're leaving us. They're like, no, they're not. They're just going to beat us to, to the location because uh, they were in a helicopter. Which is funny because I've been playing on uh, the Xbox Horizon, Forza Horizon 5. And one of the openings is you're in a car racing a plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm watching this and I'm getting uh, Fear the Walking Dead flashbacks. I'm like, oh, wow, I never thought these two would coincide, but here we go. <laughs> yes, racing. This this must be the new trend in gaming in Hollywood. Let's car versus plane. So, yeah, so he, they head over there and that's where Al is anyway. And she notices that there's some issues because as the soldiers show up and they're taking cover al grace and morgan she notices that there's an issue with the fuse it's not gonna go off right it's it's a mess up so there she's got to figure something out so she causes a distraction but the the gist of it is we got morgan in the vehicle and he pulls he makes the 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 guys make it seem they think that the guns are going to shoot at them but that's not the case because as we know they have no ammo Mm -hmm. and he drives off and what's behind it's enough to pull the fuse, and then boom, there's a cannon, and it just sends them to bits. Yep. They just blow to bits. Um, yeah, I don't think that's how that works. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I've seen Mythbusters a few times. Um, yeah, but whatever. Hey, it, it made for good TV. It was fun. They they exploded. They just exploded, these guys. But, um, yeah, so they have this conversation. So, yeah, again where Morgan is trying to convince Al. And the, the, the redundant, I do, what's the point? What mm-hmm. is the point? And he keeps saying, you and JD did this for me, remember? And you did it. She's looking for love. Just think about it. You've got grace. you got a kid. Mm-hmm. You, you, things are working for you. Just let her go. Yeah. And uh, and I get it. Even in the showrunner, he's trying at the end of the episode trying to explain that oh, he's just uh, Morgan trying to put the spin on Al so that way she could appreciate what she had found. But that doesn't come off in the episode. Yeah, because like I said, it's either she is not sure to go after the girl because she knows where she is. Because that's what he asked her when he's interviewing her. He's like, well, I need some facts. He's like, okay, what? Do you really know where she is, or were you just saying that to the? Those guards. Are like, no, no, I know. I know exactly where she is. So why aren't you there now? Well, mm-hmm. we couldn't go. Exactly. What, what, none of it made sense. But uh, maybe there's more to it off air, sort of like what happened with, um, with uh, oh my God, I'm blanking on his name, the junkie kid that died, that got shot randomly by uh, Frankie. Remember that? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm blanking on his name. Somebody will leave it in the chat. Let me know what I'm talking about. The son. And how it was a contract dispute whole thing. And he's like, yeah, I'm just not coming back. I'm done. And it, so who knows? Maybe this was the, a quick way of just trying to get her off the show to do another project. Whatever. But there's many other ways you could have done this. Yeah. It, it, they, they didn't have to get dragged out multiple times. It's like whenever they had free time, it was Morgan trying to convince her to come back. I just, uh, that, that just bothered me. But whatever. They get to the helicopter and you hear a message coming in from uh, the CRM. We're, we're going to call them just, it's a CRM. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. that's just what it is. Come on now. With the headquarters and they're like, hey, listen, we're recalling you guys back. We have her location and they give some coordinates. She must have an awesome memory, but I think she knew those coordinates, the, the, the GPS the navigation coordinates, because she knew. She was like, oh, they know where she is. She was like, I have to go there. I have to save her. I didn't know Al also knew how to fly a helicopter, but I guess she does. And off she goes. Off she goes. And this is the happy ending. She gets there. She sees that everyone seems to have a, a VCR and a, a tape cassette. And uh, <laughs> that Isabella has been watching that recording that she had on loop. And uh, it's, it's very weird. That that whole thing was like, where they sort of... Uh, going back and forth on things that they said in the past and now she was like no you can't stay here remember you want to be with your group no no i'm gonna be with you it's gonna be safe no it's not we're gonna be on the run okay we'll be on the run Mm -hmm. i'll stay with you a lot of back and forth pointless time killing 
that was it. You were just filling in minutes. I felt like there was a guy in a, in a corner. I was like, should we stop talking? No, no, no. Keep going with the dialogue. We got two more minutes. Keep going. <laughs> and, uh, because it was like, at, at no point did I think, uh, that, or any of the viewers think that this is where I was like, you know what? You're right. This isn't safe for me. Uh, I just wanted to let you know it's time for you to go. And I'm getting back in a helicopter and going to go live my life in a submarine. Peace. No. We knew it. Yeah. So they embrace, they hug, they kiss, they're happy. There we go. Game over. She's gone. Happy ending. I'm assuming they both get in the helicopter and they take off. Because that was the other thing. It, for some reason, this woman uh, that works for the CRM that was uh, the dispatcher doesn't know the voices of the members of the group, which sound like two males. And so just took her word for it. And she was like, yeah, this is me reporting. Yeah, I'm in route. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Well, okay. I mean, she, Al didn't even mask her voice. She just talked. Mm -hmm. So oh, I guess the dispatcher just gets a bunch of calls. She has so many out there, she doesn't know. It's like a car service, you know? It's like, car 26, where are you? We got a pickup on 48th Street. Thank you. Bye. Boop. Just bouncing. So it's like, yeah, we know where the this 17 is. Go get her. Mm, that's it. Happy ending. I, oh, man, I'm not a writer for this show. But if I was this episode, I would have just been like, all right, that's a great, that's a great idea. All right. Um, can we just rewrite all of this? Do you have a half an hour? Cause that's all it's going to take. <laughs> we could rewrite all of this. This is a lot of these scenes were not needed, not needed so, at all. So I, I just will make a comment. So I know that a lot of people was hoping that Al would finally reunite. So, so I'm glad that, you know, they finally answered that question about that character and that she got a happy ending. Uh, but I but again, I would say it really shouldn't have taken her all of this episode to figure out that that's the direction that she wanted to go, because we already know how she felt about that character from a while ago. So to me, it would have made sense to just say she went on ahead and was with that character. But again, they wanted to tell this convoluted storyline to try and stall it out. Yeah. And of course, to, to to give the CRM once again more context to say these are really bad people, what they're doing and all this other stuff. So I, I, I think all of that could have been avoided. But, but still uh, doesn't even address them by name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know that CRM. She doesn't say it. She just says they're bad people. Yeah, <laughs> and then he was like, "But she saved us. You're, you're, she, yeah, but she broke off from them, and now they're hunting her down, and they'll never stop." Yep, they'll never stop. Never. That's right. There's other issues. Are they not concerned about the nuke that went off, and what caused that? If anything, they should be raining down on that submarine. Mm -hmm. It's like, wh mm -hmm. who's in this submarine? They don't know that Teddy's dead. They don't know. They, for all they know, they, they could be a bunch of maniacs still living there, trying to set off other nukes. Yep, absolutely. That, that doesn't come up. So <laughs> uh, maybe one hand isn't talking to the other. It seems like they are because at some well maybe they're not. Who knows? Maybe the the showrunners and the producers they're not talking to the other show and they're like, all right, so uh, our group that show up to, to with the kill squad, all oh, the CRM, oh, is that what you guys are calling them? Oh, 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 damn, we did. Hey, did we write that down? No, I don't think we had, we named them yet. Okay, um, we're not going to call them that in our show. Thanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, when your show, the world beyond ends, then they can take that name with it. Because <laughs> uh, we're not going with the CRM. Yeah. Oh, well, the, 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 yeah, the, the Civic Republic Military, for those who are like, what's CRM stand for? There you go. That's it. And uh, again, we don't know much about that either, because a civic republic would mean that there's a government, and this is a military aspect of that. And so, where's the government? Where they're based? We know there's six locations. That's one of the key info, and very few info that we obtained from World Beyond. But that's it, and none of that really gets mentioned here, which is upsetting, because I thought she kept saying, oh, where's the maps? I'm looking for the maps. And I thought she was going to find the maps, give them to Morgan, and say, hey, these are safe spots. This is mm -hmm. everything. Because that's something that we did know from last season, when she first met Isabel, with they were doing these drops, supply drops on top of buildings all over the mm -hmm. place. They knew where certain people were living, and certain people, and groups, and things and whatnot. But they didn't really go into it. And then also later on with uh, June, and she had other groups. 
at other communities, and we knew June lived in one of them, but we don't we don't know where everybody else is. We don't mm-hmm. was maybe they were living and working part of uh, the CRM somewhere, or I mean the CR. We'll just go with CR, Civil Republic. Maybe they were just part of that group. I don't know. A lot of holes. I was hoping we'd get some of that stuff answered, at least with the maps, but that never, she never found these maps. That never came up again. That was it. Done. <laughs> Done. Yeah. And with that, I think it's case closed with the CRN, with all of this. Because now, if they're just hunting after Al and uh, and Isabel, that's it. We, what's the? We're never going to see them go after Morgan. They're not the new bad guys in fear. It's just well, our boy Victor Strand. Well, it, it, you know, we'll have to see whatever Scott Gimple's vision for all of this is. But I, I think, oh, his vision is just to give us more spinoffs. Oh, you want to know well, about well, the they, CRM? That's we'll correct. Give you a new spinoff all about the CRM. So, so in other words, you'll see Al again. You just won't see her on fear. And, and the other thing is that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, it's 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 definitely possible. But but it, but again, I listening to what they said at the end of this episode. This was her final, uh, you know, appearance this season on Fear of the Walking Dead. That doesn't rule out the possibility that she can end up on The Walking Dead or one of these anthology shows that happens next year. Yeah, well, that's so, that's very true. It could be either she's going to go in and try a new project, or yeah, maybe she's going off to film one of these spinoffs, whether the, the anthology or with the the Daryl and Carol. They have yet to name that. It is not called Daryl and Carol. Mm-hmm. You know, I know there are some funny memes people just showing. It's like Daryl and Carol, sort of like the Hobbs and Shaw, and showing them back to back with a crossbow and a gun. It's like, <laughs> oh, look, yeah, no, 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 people. I don't. If they go down that road, you might as well pull the plug on all of it. But like, that's, <laughs> like that's that's uh, we don't need that. No, nope. sorry, people. No, no, we don't need that. And then that was it. That was this episode. Um, not one of their best. Not one of their best. It was a definitely a filler, and I get it. It was going to happen. We had some bangers at the beginning of the season, and last episode, a little fluffy, and then now we got this. So hopefully they'll get back on track with the story, which I'm assuming from the what we saw with the trailers, it is going to go back on track, and it looks like it's going to be focused heavily on Strand again, which I'm still surprised <laughs> that he... They put him in this situation as the big bad guy, as the guy running this tower and controlling a community of like over a hundred. <sighs> I don't know. Oh yeah, well yeah, they, I guess they yeah they wanted to have a uh, they wanted to make his confrontation with uh, Morgan at the end of last season bigger than it actually was. Oh yeah, because he already had the opportunity in the last one, and he didn't kill him. He didn't do anything. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It just squashed that for me. Because even now, they make it seem like, oh, yeah, he's getting ready. They show him looking down the scope of a gun, holding this is it. We're going to well, see. Well, here's the thing. I, I, I don't think it's I, I don't think that that's over yet. Because the next episode, you know, we we we, 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 did, we saw a little bit in the trailer. But the, the description of the next episode is that the baby is sick. So they, again, are going to reach out to Strand to try and get the baby there. So if something happens to the baby, I, I then I think Morgan at that point, yes, he, then he will definitely still want to go after Strand. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with the next episode. But I, I don't think it's over yet between those two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we will see, people. And we will be back next week for Episode 7. So thanks again for tuning in and watching or listening. And, uh, yeah. We'll see where this goes. Oh, and on the good news, we'll be on end. What, two more episodes? Yeah. <laughs> two more episodes. <laughs> and if you want our quick uh, World Beyond report right now, we'll just tell you, uh, nothing special happened. That's it. There you go, full report. No, that, 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 that's, that is another show where they are delaying the inevitable showdown between the CRM and the protagonists of the show. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of... Gunfight. There was a lot of action in the last episode. The gunfights back and forth, but there's still, it's this whole delaying of uh, Jadis having her showdown with uh, Huck. Yeah, you know, trying to make Huck. Is, it, it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit. All right, people. We'll be back next week. Thanks again.
and uh, peace.